Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn actions in the dashboard. So there are a six types of actions which we can implement in the dashboards. So let's see what is the uses of the actions and how we can implement here. I have created a sales dashboard and in this sales dashboard we have the segment wise distribution showing on a pie chart. Then we have the top five customers top five products and the categories which is distributed based on the years and then we have the kpis which is giving the details of the profit profit ratios sales discount and the quantity and then on the top we have the filters so right now if i click on any of the slices in the pie chart or the bar graphs it will not execute anything okay so how we can make it more interactive on the dashboard such as this filter should also implement on the, all the charts but right now it is only implemented on the one chart so let's see how we can define these things for the entire dashboards so this is the place where we use the accents so let's say if we are going to implement the filters for the segment wise use as a filter either you can get it from here in this icon or you can just click on the down arrow button which is giving the more options click on this you will get it here use as a filter so let's say if i click on use as a filter it will give us the capabilities or the interactivity where i click on the pie chart and then it will give a specific outputs related to the relevant segments so now here we can see that everything is uh, getting changed the kpis are changing the products are changing the customers are changing okay so here let me add here one more thing okay so so now we can see here based on the selections our top five customers and the top products are changing and similarly uh, whatever uh, the segments are belongs to the different year wise also it is distributing but let's say if we wanted to only filter out our top five uh, customer and the top five products and we don't want to give this filter use as a filter will take the entire dashboards so how we can overcome with this so this we can overcome if we are going to here in the dashboard action click on these and here you can see it is generated the filter so this filter is the same accent filter which we have done here so if i double click on this the pop-up menu which is region by sales okay and which is implemented to the all the worksheet which belongs to the accent dashboard okay and here it is selected as a select so here whatever the options we are getting let's see one by one select will help when we are selecting the any of the slices here if we make it this hour so whenever we are hovering in a pie chart it will automatically change the dashboard similarly then we get the menu option so if i click on this click on this so what will happen it will not filter it out based on the mouse over or the selection it will give us let me just make it the life easier so instead of this segment selection okay click on okay click on okay okay so what will happen if i click on or mouse over it is not filtering out but in the bottom i can see here segment selection okay so if i click on this then only it will filter it out so it is having one more option called insert if i insert it means the field which is relevant to this so here we have segment so i can give here filter by segment or this i can give it this side filter by or whatever the segment is selected it will filter it out based on that so let's see how it will be helping us click on ok so if i click on this you can see filter by consumer segment you can see we are able to see the names so this is helpful when we are trying to showcase some additional informations then there is an option called keep filtered value go to the action and to the same filter section and here you make it 
keep filtered value click on ok click on ok so if you have filter it out so whatever the last selection is there it will stuck on that or it will give that as a last output in the dashboard then there is exclude all values so whenever you will select it will only give that values otherwise it will exclude all the values and so all values will keep the values all the time so there is one more option which is at the bottom okay and what is the use of this so let's see so here i wanted to implement these filters into the all the charts so here we have options called apply to worksheet so select here and just select all the worksheet on the dashboard so similarly you do it for this as well this we will go later on uh, in details and click on this click on ok click on here click on ok okay so let's say if i am selecting here any of the years okay i can able to see the values related to that and it is filtering out whatever the values we are selecting here correct so now what i wanted is here i have selected all the filters so i wanted here one reset button which i will just click on that and it will come to the default filter options and that reset button we can implement in the action section which we have seen in the bottom so first we have to create new worksheet and here you have to create here calculated field which is reset home i'm just giving here the name as a reset page or uh, let me just give it as a reset page click on apply okay drag it into the text box and uh, if you wanted to give some color combinations you can give it here increase the size little bit and uh, make it bold give it some different color okay click on okay apply now let's bring this i'm just giving this name as a reset filter just bring it down this worksheet reset filter out here make it this entire view yeah so if i click on this it come to the default filter se selections so here go back to the dashboard and this is the one worksheet right this is the new worksheet this we have to activate so go to the dashboard action create one new filter which will reset the filters so filters then in the action dashboards we have to take as a just check click on the checkbox on the reset filter and it should implement to all the places except the reset filter and uh, all the values and now add here and click here select add here select values so what was the first one order date and then th the second one is the region and the third one is the subcategory click on ok click on ok now let's see whether it's work or not so if we click on the reset buttons you can see it has worked on and this is not worked on because we have taken the order date we have not taken the year of order date so that we have to be select now let me just give this name as a reset filter so here instead of order date we have to select here year of order date because we are filtering the data based on the year wise right so let's see again You can see 
So now it has applied to all the places. So this is the use of the action filters. Thank you so much.